Welcome to this week's Best Skyrim Mods video, where I'll be showcasing the most popular and well-crafted mods of the week. This week's video will save you a whopping 7 hours of searching on Teznexus, as I have handpicked the top mods for your gaming pleasure. Therefore, please do not leave the video in the middle and watch it until the end. And I'd really appreciate it if you could click subscribe and like before watching. So let's get started. The first mod to introduce is Baba Yaga and the Labyrinth. Baba Yaga and the Labyrinth is a fascinating mod for Skyrim that promises a fully voiced quest and a walking hut to explore, and it doesn't disappoint. The mod brings a fresh and new experience to the game, with the addition of a soul cairn maze, weeping angels, and a mysterious witch. One of the main features of this mod is the walking hut, which can be controlled by the player and acts as a mobile base. The hut can walk around and travel to different locations, making it a unique and useful addition to the game. The player can also explore the labyrinth and unravel its mysteries, which is a challenging and thrilling experience. The mod includes 29 lines of dialogue generated by 11 labs, which helps to make the story and characters more engaging and interesting. The quest starts by talking to the Bee and Barb Innkeeper in Riften, and from there, the player can begin their journey to uncover the secrets of the Walking Hut and the Labyrinth. Overall, Baba Yaga and the Labyrinth is a well-designed and intriguing mod that adds a new dimension to Skyrim's gameplay. The unique features of the mod, such as the Walking Hut and the Soul Cairn Maze, offer an exciting and fresh experience for players looking to expand their adventure in Skyrim. The second mode to introduce is Rumble. The Rumble mod is a SKSE plugin that aims to fix and rework controller Rumble in Skyrim, providing a new level of interactivity for players. Skyrim's Rumble system is either on or off, leaving no room for in-between effects. It is divided into two systems, the basic one from Oblivion, and the audio system. The first system works for the most part, except for crossbows that lack rumble effects and are considered a melee weapon during hit effects. The rumble mod fixes this by adding configurable rumble for crossbow firing and removing the hit effects for melee weapons. The second system is broken in vanilla Skyrim, as rumble with this system is almost always on, even for the quietest of sounds. The rumble mod makes audio properly correspond to rumble and makes full use of both motors. This allows for subtle rumble effects, which significantly improve weapon swings and spell casting. By default, all sound sources will now generate rumble if they have an output model for it. This includes foley sound effects such as drawing and unsheathing weapons, reloading crossbows, wood cutting, and mining. The third mode to introduce is new creature animation Frost Atronach. New Creature Animation Frost Atronach aims to enhance the visual experience of the game by adding new animations to the Frost Atronach creatures. In its vanilla state, the Frost Atronach only had two normal attacks and two power attacks, which could often repeat themselves, leading to monotonous gameplay. With this mod, players can enjoy three brand new attack animations for the Frost Atronach. These new animations add much-needed diversity to the creature's attack style, making them more exciting to fight against. The mod replaces the vanilla attack animations with new, dynamic animations that give the Frost Atronach a more fearsome appearance. The Frost Atronach is a popular creature in the game, and many other mods use its skeleton, so having a variety of animations is vital for the game's immersion. The added variety in attack animations helps to make the gameplay experience more engaging and rewarding for players. The new creature animation Frost Atronach mod is an excellent addition to the game for those who love fighting against these creatures. With its new, dynamic animations, the Frost Atronach is more engaging and fearsome than ever before. This mod is an excellent way to breathe new life into a classic game and keep the gameplay experience fresh and exciting. The fourth mode to introduce is ENBIMOD Separator. The ENBIMOD Separator is a SKSE plugin for ENB, which separates IMODs from image spaces, fixing night eye and VFX without workarounds. 
Night Eye and VFX such as Shouts are essential visual effects in Skyrim, but they are not always implemented properly, and it can cause some problems for ENB presets. To address this issue, the ENB IMOD separator plugin neutralizes the base image space values, so that they only modify the image as a result of IMODs. This SKSE plugin is highly flexible, and it can be enabled through an INI file. ENB presets can also use additional code to customize how the plugin interacts with IMODs and image spaces. Therefore, the ENB IMOD separator is a great solution for modders and ENB preset creators who want to fix Night Eye and other VFX without workarounds. By separating IMODs from image spaces, the plugin can make ENB presets more flexible and customizable, improving the overall Skyrim experience. The fifth mode to introduce is Create. Create is a powerful SKSE plugin that allows you to edit various visual aspects of Skyrim in real-time, all from within the game. With a non-destructive multi-preset system, you can adjust a wide range of parameters and save them into or load them from presets, all while leaving your ESP, ESM, ESL files as is. This means you can switch between different presets instantly from within the game and preview edits with ease. Create is not just for preset creation, however. It also includes built-in tools that make weather creation, patching easier than ever. In addition, Create comes with an optional fix for the game's buggy DALC system for your weathers and cell lighting. To access the editor's GUI, simply press the default key, End. From there, you'll be greeted with a welcome message that explains where to access all of the tools and how to use the GUI. It's important to note that you should not use the console while Create is open, as you won't be able to see most of your changes. Create already blocks all of your mouse and keyboard input by default when it's open. The editor currently covers weathers, image spaces, volumetric lighting, cell lighting, and lighting templates. It also supplies you with the current status for those records, including which ones are active, making it easy to keep track of your changes. In summary, Create is a highly useful mod that provides real-time editing capabilities for various visual aspects of Skyrim. Its non-destructive multi-preset system allows for easy preset creation and management, while its built-in tools make weather creation, patching a breeze. The optional fix for the game's buggy DALC system is also a nice addition. Overall, Create is a must-have for anyone looking to enhance their Skyrim gameplay experience. The sixth mod to introduce is Combat Music Fix NG. Combat Music Fix NG is a simple SKSE plugin designed to fix the frustrating and never-ending combat music bug in Skyrim. The game is known to have an infamous glitch where the combat music keeps playing even after you've exited a battle. The Combat Music Fix NG mod provides a permanent solution to this problem. With this mod, you can finally enjoy Skyrim without having to deal with the never-ending combat music bug. After installation, the mod will run a script that fixes the glitch and stops the music from playing once you've exited combat. This is now also available for A player. One of the best things about this mod is that it's incredibly easy to use. All you need to do is install it using your preferred mod manager and let it run in the background. Once the mod is installed, you can continue to enjoy Skyrim as usual, without having to worry about the combat music bug. Combat Music Fix NG is also very lightweight and won't cause any performance issues. It doesn't require any additional resources or complex setup, making it an ideal choice for players who want a simple and effective solution to the combat music bug. The seventh mod to introduce is Iron Armors and Weapons Retexture. This mod enhances the look of the iron armor, shield, and weapons to give them a much more unique and visually appealing appearance. Not only does the mod retexture the base iron armor and weapons, but it also includes additional textures for the Targa of the Blooded, CC Iron Plate, Amidianborn's Content Add-on, Legacy of the Dragonborn's Iron Hands, Aegisbane, and Shield of Reman's Cyrodiil, and Falskar's Skullcrusher. With so many different options, you can customize your gameplay to look exactly how you want it to. The armor textures are based on a Midian-born Book of Silence, 
which is not required for this mod to work but highly recommended for a more cohesive look between all your vanilla armors. The textures come in 2K resolution, with the chest armor textures being 4K for maximum detail. If your computer can't handle that much texture, there is a half-res version available in the optional files section. The FOMOD installer lets you pick and choose which options you want, so you can tailor your mod selection to your individual preferences. The mod enhances the appearance of the iron armors and weapons to bring them to life and make them a beautiful addition to any playthrough. With this mod, you'll be able to look at your character and say, That's good armor you've got there, friend. Iron, solid and true. Thank you for tuning in to this week's best Skyrim mods video. I hope you found the mods showcased in this video to your liking, and I encourage you to try them out in your own playthroughs. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Skyrim content and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Until next time, happy modding!